Hi, I'm Dr. Abe. I'm an MD and cannabis health coach, and I'm here to answer your questions and tell you what you need to know about Delta 11. Delta 11 THC is one of the newest cannabinoids out there on the market today. Delta 11 also rocks the flashy name XOTHC, referring to the structural difference between Delta 11 and Delta 9. It's basically an artificial form of THC that can get you less high than Delta 9 or even Delta 8. It's made by taking CBD from hemp and turning it into Delta 11 through a somewhat messy and harsh process. Since it comes from legal hemp, Delta 11 can be made into a line of legal hemp products like vapes, edibles, and sprayed on hemp flour. Right now, there aren't any human studies that can confirm the possible benefits of Delta 11. We only have a few old studies done on animals to go off of, plus educated guesses from what we know about its sibling Delta 9. What's interesting about this is that most of the research on Delta 11 actually happened before 1990, before we even knew the endocannabinoid system even existed. For example, a 1991 study on Delta 11 hypothesizes the existence of a THC receptor, but with no strong evidence at that time. Now, cannabis science has evolved a bit since then, particularly for Delta 9, and for the receptors of what we know as the endocannabinoid system, but not so much for Delta 11 that fell to the wayside for its low potency. Since it still works in the same way as Delta 9, we could expect it to have some potential benefits for things like sleep, pain, nausea, and appetite, but we haven't confirmed anything just yet. A dose of Delta 11 THC should feel like taking a third of the dose of Delta 9 THC. They are nearly identical molecules that give very similar effects, most notably an intoxicating high. This high can come with good feelings, stress and anxiety relief, and more pleasure in sensations like eating, and may cause sleepiness. If you inhale Delta 11, you could feel these effects for around an hour. And if you eat it, you could be feeling it for the next four to six hours. This is our best guess based on what we know about Delta 9 THC. Yes, Delta 11 is a low powered version of Delta 9 THC. It's estimated to give about a third of the high you'd get from regular Delta 9 THC. By comparison, this makes it roughly even less powerful than Delta 8, the so-called diet weed a title that now perhaps should be given to Delta 11. We don't have enough specific information to know how relatively safe Delta 11 is, but if it's similar to and milder than Delta 9, we can treat Delta 11 like that and make some reasonable assumptions about how safe that is in theory. Now, this doesn't mean that all Delta 11 products out there are guaranteed safe. Unfortunately, lack of regulations means it's up to you, the consumer, to double check the quality of every product you're buying online. Because Delta 11 is made in a lab, these products could also come with known or unknown cannabinoids and other bright products that could introduce other health effects. The manufacturer should control for this and test for it. So always be sure that the store you buy from has a third-party lab report called the Certificate of Analysis or COA to go along with your specific product. This report helps check for quality and purity. There aren't any clinical studies to know this exactly, but you could reasonably assume that the side effects from Delta 11 are similar to, but less intense than Delta 9 THC. You can expect things like intoxication and impairment, feeling more hungry or sleepy, and getting those classic feelings of dry mouth and dry red eyes. You may also have a faster heart rate, nausea, or dizziness. Remember that we don't actually know the full set of short or long-term health effects that can come with Delta 11 products yet, or at what doses they occur. We also don't know about the side effects of the other unintended byproducts that can come in some of the unregulated products. You may also feel anxious or panicked if you take too much.
for the most part, it seems like Delta 11 THC would interact similarly with other medications as Delta 9 would. This means that you shouldn't take it with other substances that can make you sleepy, impaired, or dizzy, such as alcohol and other common drugs because it can increase those side effects. You should be cautious if you are taking certain prescriptions like anti-seizure medications, blood thinners, beta blockers, antidepressants, anti-anxiety meds, antipsychotics, or steroids, as Delta 11 can increase the levels of those medications in your body. Most of the time, the interactions besides anti-seizure medications aren't clinically significant. If you are taking these meds or have specific health concerns, you should definitely talk to your doctor or provider first before taking Delta 11. Delta 11 is something that right now mostly appeals to casual or recreational cannabis consumers in states where they don't have legal Delta 9 access yet. Since it's even less powerful than Delta 8, there's definitely a market for having an even milder high. I could see this being used by college students for fun, older adults with mild joint pain, or someone who is just very sensitive to Delta 9 or wants to cut back on it. You shouldn't use Delta 11 if you plan to work or drive, are pregnant or breastfeeding, nor should you give it to children or pets. If you've used Delta 11, let us know about your experience in the comments. Or if you have any questions about Delta 11, write them in the comments section and I'll try to answer them or point you in the right direction. For more information on Delta 11, visit the link in the description.